All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming out. It's time to play some DHC now. I know this is actually a Monster Hunter World Day, but I popped a uh, double XP in this. So for a little bit, we're going to play uh, some Monster Hunter or some Dungeon Hunter. And then uh, we might switch over a little later to Monster Hunter World. I'm not sure yet. Um, the good news is that I did uh, finally six star my um, my Yuko so yay 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 and yay that's two six stars this week being Yoko and then Kendrick and it was rough like I mean if you look I'm down to 78 if you remember from my last video I was at like 190 so six starring uh, these two just wiped me out. Like I, I am just tapped out for fodder right now. I'm really, really tapped out. So that's where we are. That's what I'm doing. Um, we're just gonna be leveling, answering any questions you have. It should be like a, a short stream. It's not gonna be long at all. We're gonna go till about 7:15, 7:30 around that area. Just gonna have a good time. I'm gonna level up some stuff. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And then um, we might, we might, might, might switch over to uh, Monster Hunter World after. I'm not sure at all, to be honest with you. I'm not positive of what the next festivity should be. I'm only leveling her right now. I'm not leveling any other fodder because I don't have anything else at this moment to make. Um, the next uh, video that I have due, I actually spent... For the common disc event, huh? Yeah, I actually am. Um, the funny thing is, the six star her, I went through a bunch, and I mean a bunch of uh, common discs. So I saw the announcement today, and I was like, dang it. But I still have the 250 to get like the max reward. So at least I'll get that. But unfortunately, I doubt I'm going to have enough for like the tutors, which sucks. Because I had like 2K common discs. And I spent most of those uh, six star in Kendrick and six star in Yuko. So I was a little bummed to see that today, but that's all right. It happens. I'll go through, I'll get the regular rewards. And then, of course, with every common disc event, I say this all the time the tutors are the thing you get. Oh, I'm really liking her. I was using her at a five star max, and I found her really good. So I'm super excited to get her six star max, take her into Ascended. Hopefully she can help push me out of uh, SW12 uh, and get me into 13. That'd be really nice. I'm hoping she can. I'm going to really be banking on that undying proccing, to be honest with you. Like, uh, hopefully that will be what saves me. And then with the uh, damage reduction on skill three uh, adept. Oh, dude, you're hurting my heart, mullet. This is a. Uh, this is evidence that you did not watch my video on her. I, I'm, I'm, my heart's breaking, my friend. I'm crying inside. But um, she is currently geared Adept uh, Vital or Adept Resistance, I think. HP, HP, HP. That's her current build. And I also have that on uh, DHC builds as well as, long, as, as, uh, as well as the review video. Man, I am, like, exhausted. I went uh, really hard today on uh, my workout. So it's been a couple, like, about a month and a half since I've been able to. Uh, because of work. I understand, dude. I understand. I'm just busting your chops. I'm just busting your chops. But, yeah, um, she's really good. She's really, really, really good. I like her a lot. Wow, we lost music. But that's okay. That's okay. Ah. Uh, it's been, uh, it's been, I've been pretty busy in this. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to, um, I probably won't be farming at all tomorrow until the evening because I have to go into the office tomorrow. And normally I just have this on my iPad or, um, on Windows and I'll hit replay every now and then, but I won't be able to do that at work. So tomorrow I'm going to lose pretty much the whole day uh, of farming, which is all right. I just got to make sure somehow I get to 30 uh 30 summons right now i think i'm somewhere in a neighborhood of 20 i think i have 20 so i need 10 more summons before saturday but i knew this was gonna be uh 
was going to be a, a slower uh, week because uh, I was going to be leveling stuff and I wasn't going to be, be in SW. But oh well. I really want to get crank out two units. And um, I will do SW hard next week uh, as I try to figure out which dark unit I want a six star. It's between Bubba Krupp. Oh, listen, you got yours over 72k HP. I haven't plus 15 all my bracers yet. I think I'm at 52k HP. I think 52k. But I'm not going to get close to 72k. I didn't get uh, good subs. Like, if you take a look. Oh, dang it. It's such. It's like muscle memory for me to hit replay. Like, it just is. It's just straight muscle memory. Like, sorry about that. But after this next round, I'll show you. I'm pretty sure I'm 52k. I think after I plus 15. All of it, it'll be around uh, probably 55, 57K around there. I think, I think, I think. I'm not positive. I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure it'll be around. All right, this time I'll, I'll show you. I think that's what it is. Pretty sure? I guess pretty sure is better than ugly sure, right? So here we go. Oh, yeah, and I got to do my daily, so we're going to stop this uh, real quick, and then we'll do dailies. Oh, and did you guys see the new co-op rewards, by the way? Co-op rewards. Yay. Hopefully, my guild wants to do them more. Uh, let me pick them up. Okay, I'll show you in a second. All right, uh... Let's go take a peek at... Nope, that's not her. There she is. Alright. Uh, 44k HP. Ew, I thought I had more than that. But yeah, that's what I have. I did not get lucky on substats. Like, uh... I'm gonna take a look. Max HP. Didn't get any HP subs. Max HP. No HP subs. Max HP. No HP subs. Yet again. As you can see, like I was saying, I, I just haven't had any luck. But this one, we got it. We got a good, this was like my best my best roll right here for her. And we got this one. We got some good, decent rolls. It didn't come out like 100% like I wanted, but that's okay. And so it's another decent roll. And then again, like no. These two, if they had at least had max HP, it would have been good. But they didn't. So, oh well. And this was like... Unfortunately, she kind of got like leftover gear too because I use the most used sets by me are mortal and adept So and I have been getting crap. The reason why my money has gone up so quick I have been getting crap drops in SW. So I've been selling everything like there's just been nothing There's been a few pieces that have been blue that have been sort of keepers that I kept but nothing where it was like Oh, this is amazing. Like yes, I got a an amazing drop right now nah, that didn't happen all right let me summon up some my three for the daily here yeah I was a little bummed that's okay I mean once I plus 15 them I'll get a little more but what you gonna do what you gonna do when they come for you HP HP you've been leveling yours in SW yeah I want to I want a quick return so that's why I've been doing it in um, adventure It'll be like a lot faster than SW, but trust me. I normally do SW as well But all this week I've done adventure for Kendrick and I've done adventure for uh, for uh, Whatchamacallit uh, Yuka we were just looking at her. I tell you I'm super tired But oh, yeah, no, it's worth it. Don't get me wrong, but it's slower. That's the only problem Remember my streams are on Saturday. So only I had a week to level both of these and I don't and sometimes I can't be in front of it 24 7 so it, it's it, it was just better for me to be an adventure and my uh, disc will suffered for it but yeah uh, let me make sure I got everyone yeah okay all their gear is fine let me find someone with crappy gear I can level real quick there we go Wait, 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 wait. Is there any... I think I have some crap gear on Zircon. Yeah, I do. Good. There we go. Yeah, no. Don't... I Trust me. You will get no argument from me that leveling SW is the way to go. 
It's just I I really want to get this done super quick. And I popped a double a single day double XP. So to make the most of it, I'm just gonna run adventure until it's over. Then tomorrow I'll I'll switch back to uh Oh I forgot to do the feeding. I'll switch back to uh, uh SW for leveling her. That also helped with the common disc event, of course. I really want them to change this. I, I suggested it to them in the suggestion form where you have to do it one by one to get credit for the daily. You can't do them all three at the same time. It's just so annoying. Not a fan of it. Not a fan of it at all. Hold on a second, my son. I know, obviously, because I didn't hear you. That's why I asked you. Period. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. But I'm pretty happy with her. I'm, like, super happy with her. She's, she's very, very cool. I like her. And I'm, like, so exhausted. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I, I got off work late. Um... I got off work really, really late, and then uh, I like did my uh, my exercise routine that I'm getting back into after being out of it for months, and then I like hop right in the shower, then came here for this. So I'm like, I'm tired and I'm sore because it's been months. And I don't know if you guys, when you're in a workout routine, it's fine. You can do stuff like that, but when it's been a month or so since you've done it, it like it hurts. Yeah, but dude, I'm old, man. I'm old. That's the excuse I'm going with. I'm old. Get off my lawn, you pesky kids. Ah, come on now. I'm old. But that's why I'm tired. That's why I'm tired, man. You try you try exercising for 90 minutes, like doing cardio the whole time, and then hopping in the shower and coming straight to do this when you're my age <laughs> and you haven't done it in a month and a half. Let me see you have someone tell you it's been 6 p.m. <laughs> it's only 6. Uh, no, this team's going to hurt because she's really bursty. And it would be bought better to have Wonga. We'll see how we do. We need the, uh, the defense buff so that uh, What's-Her-Face doesn't kill us. Because I, I auto these now. If I lose, I lose. Whatever. <laughs> That's just how I feel about this right now. It's like if I lose, I lose. I'm I'm so over it. So over it. Like every now, like the most I do is like click something just to, so they can target and kill it. That's like the most effort I put into it these days. It's like oh, if that doesn't kill them and I die, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Like honestly, I I could have done much better, but eh, I really. Uh, that's what happens when you're tired. Actually, Mullet, I think you're, um, dude, I think you're, like, number, uh, five, to be honest with you. I think you're the top five. Like, yeah, you are, see? Pulling up the rear, buddy. Good job, my friend. Good job. Like, uh, Smitty can actually buy something. So, I'm, I'm a little excited to get my first purchase from the stream store. I am. I am. I don't. I know he told me what he wanted, but I don't remember. I think he said he wants the diva. The diva is actually pretty cool because she actually comes out of the the mech. Like she's her own little uh, pop. No, Bubba hasn't traded in any of his. The only thing Bubba's done cassette tape wise is um on my birthday because my major holidays and my birthday I do a five hundred uh cassette tape uh question. And Bubba actually got it right on my birthday. But he gave his 500 points to Smitty. So that's the only thing Bubba's done with his points. And Smitty was super happy about that. At first I thought Bub Bubba was joking. I honestly thought he was joking. But he's like, nah, really, give them all to, to Smitty. So really, Bubba should have like 1,900. I'm, I'm honestly anxiously awaiting the first redemption. Oh, uh, we lost our strip. That's that sucks. That's all right. That's all right. 
Yeah, dude, 500 points. I only do 500 point give giveaways like a few times. So. And that's my birthday and Christmas. So, Christmas, already, I actually already have. It was a super vague question, too. Like, because you, like, you know, you've been around. The, the more vague it is, the more points it's worth. And that was super vague. I already have the one I'm going to do for, uh, for Christmas. I, I have it written down. I'm thinking by then, if Smitty keeps going the way he is, he should be able to redeem what he wants. Which I think is the D.Va. I think it's the D.Va. I could be wrong. Or is it the Mercy? I don't remember which one Smitty wants, to be honest. I'll just be straight up with you. Ah, uh, this is a violent comp. I should have manual. Oh, okay, never mind. Targeting was enough. How do you check the store again? You know, I don't have a, a quick link. I got. I'll set it up. Uh, exclamation point store at some point. Um, there you go. You can click that link, and uh, the bot will say it every now and then. He'll give the. He'll post out the link. Yeah. See, this is what happens when I don't target in a violent comp. A violet comp. I think that'll get you there. If it doesn't, let me know, and I'll get uh, the actual link. Because I'm looking at it from... Here we go. This is probably a better link. Never mind. This one will probably work better. I'm sorry, mullet. There you go. And then I'll make a command like... Oh, my goodness. We lost super quick. Eh. <laughs> I'm not fussed about it at all. I, I made no effort, and it was a violent comp. So... Whatever, I got the daily done. That's like honestly all I care about. Oops. I do want to do some co-op. But like everyone in my guild has done it. Alright, next, 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 next. Alright. This guy. Ah, oh, this team's fine. This team's fine. I can't believe you've uh, you've never checked out the store before, uh, Mullet. It's pretty decent. It's actually expanded. I used to only have six items. Now we're up to nine. Nobody's redeemed anything yet. Like I said, Bubba or uh, Smitty is the only one who's even close. He can redeem the... Uh, the uh, Boober with Dozer and the Jake. Because those are both 1500 Oh, you like Rocco's Modern Life? Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, the 80s, as uh, you should know. Hey... Yeah, Fraggle Rock was one of my favorites. Do, 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 what is the actual... Oh, look, there it is. Now it says it. But I got to make that like a hotkey. Like a... So people... I can do like exclamation point store. So just in case people ask, I could just go there. Oh, I didn't click... Uh, oh, I did click ready. Ha, 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 ha. Hey, Hanzo-kun. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, my friend. Yeah, dude. Rocco's Modern Life. My kids used to like it. I, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I know so many people were huge fans of Rocco's Modern Life. I saw it, and it's like it fits the theme of my, my channel, which is very throwback. So I got it. I have been looking for like more 80s stuff, though, like Generation 1 Transformers. Um, I had a guy that was going to sell me... A generation one Megatron 
for like 250 and I was gonna put that in my store um, I was gonna do the math so I actually have a formula to determine how much I charge for items and um, I was gonna see what it said and I was gonna put it up there for it to see if anyone's crazy enough to try to save for it but yeah I really want generation 1 transformers and generation 1 pops and um, for my uh, thousandth video uh, or my thousandth uh, follower in uh, YouTube and uh, my thousandth follower in um, Twitch, I plan on having a raffle and the item is going to be pretty decent. Like, all right, I, I've already been talking to my wife, getting her okay ahead of time. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? What is this? This is uh, light. Oh, I, I, I did not check. I legitimately did. Oh, dude, DuckTales. Honestly, if I saw DuckTales. Oh, dude, I got to show you what I pre-ordered for the store. Because it seems like you know what's up when it comes to cartoon in 80s. But um, as soon as I'm done with this co-op, I'll show you. Hey, x baddie, Hey, bro. What's up, bro? Hey, I've been pretty good. I'm super tired, though, and sore. I'll be legit with you, man. My arms right now are aching. They be aching. Dude, better than DuckTales, Darkwing Duck. Like, if I could find a Darkwing Duck, one with him on his motorcycle, I think I would shoot Happy Juice in my pants. Like, I was huge Darkwing Duck. Like, I was, I was, sad thing, I was in high school, and I was, like, just the biggest Darkwing Duck fan you will ever find. That is a straight-up true story. I am not even kidding. I would say, let's get dangerous. Let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck, Darkwing, out of smoke and he appears, a champion of night. Oh, no, 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 get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, gosh dang it. Yeah, I'll show you. I don't, this may be 280s for you. I don't know your age range there, uh, uh, mullet, but my, uh, the gift that I, I, uh, I pre-ordered from Amazon, oh, dude. From Amazon for this is like lit. It's super lit. They have Darkwing. You you lie. Do they really? That is legit. A oh, launch pad McQuack. <laughs> oh man. Come on, third. Oh my God, he just dropped his shield. And as soon as I, oh, he puts it back up. You've got, okay. Let me go to my Amazon real quick. And I'll show you. And then I'm going to look for that Darkwing Duck one. And I'll, I'll pick some up for the store. All right. This is, uh, I bought two of these. One is going to be for, um, obviously, for stream. The other one is going to be, like, for me personally. Right now, it's number one in new releases, too. Check this out. This is lit, my friend. This is lit. Like, I am, like, ridiculously excited about it. Like, ridiculous. Alright, let me read this. All elements except dark have... Aw, oh, dude, I don't have any dark... See, this is why I need the six-star dark units. This is exactly why I need the six-star dark units. Dude, is it? I'm. I honestly, me and my brother, me and my brother were huge. So I, I pre-ordered two of these. I pre-ordered this one. I pre-ordered two of Orange Scridello DDS. Like uh, I don't know if you remember who he was. That was uh, Steve Martin's uh, character. Oh, invite you, baddie. All right, let me invite you. Uh, let me go to guild. Where are you at, baddie, baddie, baddie? Baddie, I think you're my friend, too. So, I can go either way, I guess. There we go. Oh, no. He already invited someone. Sorry, bud. But, yeah. And, um... I was super excited. And then I showed you guys the other one I bought for the stream. Which is on back order now. Which is, uh... Um... I don't know if you guys ever saw The Lost Boys... But it was an incredible 80s vampire movie. And they have uh, Michael, which was the brother that got turned into a, uh, a vampire by... Uh, 
what's that guy's name? Jack Jack Bauer. Who who's Jack? What's Jack Bauer's real name? Uh, Kiefer Sutherland. And then they had Kiefer Sutherland's character as well eating uh, the Chinese food. And so I, I got two of two of both of those. Unfortunately, one of them's for someone else. I didn't I didn't get enough for stream. And I, and I was like, oh, I'll just go order pre-order two more. And now they're like on back order for forever. Like I'm still waiting for them to send mine. Like here's the orange, uh, the orange Scordello one though is cool. Me and my brother used to go around singing that uh, the "You'll Be a Dentist" song all the time when we were kids. You'll be a dentist. You have a talent for causing things pain. I'm gonna go Bob a Cruck on this. Oh, don't you dodge your question? Okay, I'm sorry. All I see is wait what, but I don't see what the question was. Where's the question? Oh, you gotta go, mullet. Oh, all right, man. All right. You take care, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You enjoy your evening, too. You enjoy your evening. But I still don't see this the question, Smitty. All I see is... Like, and I went all the way back. I just see, wait, what? I don't know what I'm waiting what for. I'm here, though. Okay. I'm, I'm so lost, bro. I don't know what's going on. My, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused, man. I'm, I'm so confused. Like, you're here? Did I say you weren't here? Man, I don't know what's... Ah, Smitty, either you're messing with me or I'm more tired than I thought. Both of those could, they're not mutually exclusive, right? So both of those things could actually be happening simultaneously. But I, I'm like super confused, man. Feel the depths of loss. Dude, I'm I'm in the bowels of lostness right now, to be completely honest. I, I passed deaths a long time ago. I am in the bowels of it. Hey, it looks like my prediction was right. I said they would have light and dark uh, versions of these. So, I feel good about that. Like, I, I've called, so far, I've called, like, a lot of stuff from them. I, I feel pretty good about that, to be honest with you. I really, really feel good about that. Alright. Dude, why isn't she, are you seeing this? Like, she's not attacking. What the FUD was that all about? Dude, look at her just chunk that HP, man. She just chunks that HP. I mean, of course, there's the Alia, too. I mean, you know. The nature Alia. Dude, Baba Krupp is, is the shiz. What's up, Ike? How you doing? I said that they would have LD boss. No, I said they would have LD bosses. You asked me. Oh, dude. Decent gear. Five star resilient. Oh. Oh, hey. 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 Well, your crits play a big part. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I would. I really want them to add the DPS button there. But I think my thoughts are that... Um, the DPS button comes from client side. And so that's the issue. That's just my thoughts. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I really want them at it. I, I'm so glad you're here, man. I am. Ike, your your name sounds like like it's from a cartoon or something. Like uh, I remember watching. All right. We'll wait for them to invite me again. Oh, they didn't. Oh, dude. I'm super excited. All right, I want to bring Casey, but my Casey is super squishy. Like, it is, it's funny that this is the one because I was just saying, I do, it's from something. It's from, like, it's a kid that's in a cartoon. And they're like, I will, I can't remember what cartoon now. And it's killing, every time I see your name, that's what I think of. And I never remember who it was. So, but yeah. But it's funny that it's light being the element of today because the dark is um, my next thing to do per my account progression video 
is level one of my three uh, my three uh, five stars. Either Dodgy, Bubba Cruck, or Casey. My Casey's super squishy, so I'm not going to bring her here. But I'll bring my Dodgy. Wait, no, Dodgy's a bad idea. Dodgy's a bad idea. There's no OGD. There's no OGD. Uh, crap. Now I'm not sure who to bring. Because Dodgy's just a bad idea. A lot of her damage comes from OGD. And then we've got, they're not really taking anything that's going to help us, like DPS-wise. So I guess I'll just bring Dodgy, screw it. Yeah, I know, but, like, I don't know. We'll see, man. I've never, also, I've never manualed her. So I have no flipping idea, like, how to use her with that. Like, I really don't. I have zero idea. This is going to be fun. I'm going to be in there just like, uh, what does this button do? <laughs> oh, I got to look up Darkwing Duck Pops. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Mullet told me about those. Darkwing Duck Pops. Oh, Funko Pop Darkwing Duck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, do they have one with him on the motor? <gasps> They've got Gizmo Duck. They've got Gizmo Duck. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. They've got Gizmo Duck. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dude. I know the Darkwing Duck song. Daring Duck of Mystery. Champion of Light. Sneaks out of the shadows. A duck of the night. Somewhere with some villain schemes. Their numbers up. Yeah, three, two, one. Darkwing Duck, look out. When there's trouble, you call DW. Darkwing Duck, mm, let's get dangerous. Dun, dun. Darkwing Duck, mm. Darkwing, Darkwing Duck. And I'll remember the rest. So I said I could sing the whole thing. I totally lied because I, I went totally blank after that part. But they have Gizmo Duck. They legit have Gizmo Duck. Like, I don't, this changes like my whole view on life now. Life, like, I don't know. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. 30 seconds and just starting. Dude, you're you're messing with me. I have no idea what's 30 seconds and just starting. I, I'm going to be on. Oh, crap. I clicked off the screen. Oh, okay. So she throws it, like, at the end of it. All right. Like I said, I've never... I've never autoed her, man, or manualed her. I don't know what the hell she does. I, I'm honestly buying this gizmo duck, though. This gizmo duck is lit. No, you don't. Get out of there. Oh, look at her. Look at that run speed. That run speed was, like, just lit. She only has one stack. That's my girl. All right, let's throw the blade out there. Start breaking down those negation stacks. All right, now let's DPS them. That was a funny joke. Tell me another one. Dude, dodgy. Dodge. Yeah, I was noticing that. I was noticing, but I can't reset it when it's in the boss, though. Like, I can't, like, get out there to grab it. Dude, I only got six stacks, man. I'm putting in work. Look at all these stacks, all these, all these other, all my great guildies who are awesome have. <laughs> I'm messing with you, guildies. You know I got nothing but love. Oh my god! Of course, as soon as I hit a skill. Of course. Put. Do you know what scientific notation? Yeah, Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. There is nothing to save there, sir. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> hey, there's my girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What happened? We're dead. Oh. Miss Sassy. Do you guys, this is the coolest thing I've seen. I'm buying this. Darkwing Duck is lit. This gizmo, it's not Darkwing Duck because... It's more DuckTales, but Gizmo Duck was one of my favorites. 
I do like the Darkwing Duck, though. I do like the Darkwing Duck. Oh, dang it. They don't have a pop, though. I'm all about pops. Yeah. Because I'm all about the pops, about the pops, no treble. I'm all about the pops, about the pops, no treble. He's all about the pops, of course. Dude. I'm bringing pops back. And tell those crazy people I don't have no more Legos. Mm -hmm. I actually have a ton of Legos. I'm a huge Lego fan. I, I literally have a box about this big and about that high. Full stuff to the brim with Legos. GG dude was fun. All right, Hanzo Cun, it was super fun. Let us resume the boss raids. My guild helped me out. Thanks, guildies, for coming out. By the way, Fallen, we rock. That's us. That's our guild. We believe in the Brotherhood of the Blade, which is something I totally just made up right now, and I don't know if it's a real thing. And I don't really know if we believe it. Maybe some people believe it. But then how could they believe it if I just made it up? But if I made it up, then people can believe in it. But then if I just made it up, how can they believe in it? Ah, uh, catch my head exploded. I'm still good. I'm still good. We're, we're, I'm back. I'm back. Armor hot dogs. The dogs, kids, love to bunch. That room, oh, dude, oh, okay. So you guys heard what I was just singing right there. I know uh, there's only a few of us on right now, but I feel like a competition. So the song I was just singing, um, um, the Armor Hot Dog song. If whoever can tell me what movie that song, oh, dude, we did horrible on this. It's probably going to be a white because I don't have any heels. I forgot who talked me into. I think Trig, yeah, Triga, Triga eighty four talked me into running this team because we were getting um a, we were getting a minute, uh sub minute run times with it. But the problem is, if it doesn't uh pre flight, then it'll wipe because there's abs there's no heals and Monus can't keep everyone up. So this this is like ultra risky running this because there's just no heals. Like if we don't pre flight, it's done. It's over. Oh, you're serious, by the way? I didn't know that. All right. I learned something new. So, um, if anyone could tell me what movie the Armor Hot Dog song I was just coming from is from, you'll win 50 cassette tapes. Even kids with chicken pox love hot dogs. Armor Hot Dogs. The dogs, kids, love to bunch. All right. There you go. That that's your hint. It'll run until somebody gets it. Come on, it's not hard. It's a. I think it was a popular movie. I liked it. I saw it a bunch of times. Bought it on VHS. Wore the VHS out. Bought it again. I remember that VHS didn't last that long in my house because we were a big movie family, and so uh, we watched them a lot. That one I watched a ton. Come on, guys. 50 cassette tapes. Somebody knows this. Armor Hot Dog Song. Name the movie that it is from. Someone knows it. Someone wants those 50 cassette tapes. I know someone does. Uh, actually, that reminds me. Speaking of the cassette tapes, I promised uh, Mullet I would come up with a store command so people can, if they ever want to like look at my store, we can just, they can just do a exclamation point store and that will do that. So command exclamation point store. Response is this right here and everyone can use it. All right, let's see if this works. Hey, Demolition Man is correct. Sandra Bullock and Sylvester Stallone. All right, X Baddie. Good night, man. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for playing. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Let me test this command. Dun, 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 oh, crap. 
That's not the link I wanted. Oh, wait. Store's already a built-in one? So, I didn't know that. All right, let's delete this one then. What, what are we doing? We're, we're creating duplicates here. And how do you delete one? There's an interesting question to myself. Ah, there it is. There's the delete. I actually had the wrong... But I didn't know that was already a command. Is that a command? It should be. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's already a command. All right. My bad. I guess I didn't need to do it. I didn't know. And the more you know. <laughs> it's a star. Hmm? Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got sidetracked. I didn't give Smitty his 50 points. His 50. Let me give Smitty his 50. Wait, which one did I just do? Ah, this is Golden Bull. Alright, I did Golden Bull. Sugar, do, 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 do. My honey sugar, do, 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 do. You're my candy girl. Smitty, you're at 1636, my friend. You're climbing up there. You are climbing up there. You know what, Smitty? I think you could almost see it. That dream you're dreaming. Somewhere out there, you're going to get it. You could almost see it. That dream you're dreaming. Uh, I don't know the rest of that song. All I know is at some point it's all, It's the climb. Every step I'm taking. <laughs> every move I'm making. Uh, somebody might lock me up, but I'm not breaking. They may not know this, but these are the moments. Like, I'm totally, okay. Now I'm, I'm bummed I don't know this song. Uh, okay, I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside Smitty's head saying, you'll never reach it. Every cassette tape he's making, every cassette tape he feels, he's lost with no direction, but my faith isn't shaken. Smitty, you just gotta keep trying. You gotta keep your head held high. Yeah, there's always gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. It's always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast you get there. It ain't about the prize on the other side. It's the climb. <laughs> uh, do you really? I, I will, I am very, I, as you guys can tell, I break into song randomly because I am actually a huge, non-discriminatory except country music listener. I don't care who sings it. As, if I like it and it makes me, you know, do one of these numbers, then yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to it. That's just how it goes. I don't give a crap what other people think. That's just how I, I love music and really are I like music, especially really like, I like really peppy music, too. Like, where it's like, you know, you just gotta move. That's the best kind. I like the kind of music that tells a story. Unless it's a lame story like Boys to Men. Like, we're not gonna talk about that one. I already spent, like, ten minutes of one stream explaining why that Boys to Men song is the most ridiculous, stupidest, dumbest, least self-respecting stream or song on the planet. And then Miss Sassy actually educated us on some of the things she does out there in life, which is help people dealing with those kind of issues, which is pretty awesome. So, but yeah, that song is ridiculous. That song is absolutely ridiculous. Have some self-respect, man. Just like, see, that's why that scene in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is so key. When he's off, Scott Pilgrim earns the power of self-respect. It's like, yep. That's right. You gotta respect yourself, man. You gotta respect yourself. You know what? One of my uh, favorite songs that 
Now, this song was not written for me. It wasn't. It wasn't written for Smitty. It wasn't written for my son. It wasn't written for X Batty. But I have a song that is actually one of my favorite songs that honestly gets me pumped. And it has not, it was not, I was not the target audience for it. That song is uh, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Like, that song is so peppy. I know it's not, I know it's not written for me. Trust me, I understand it. But that song, like, Shania gets down on that song. Like, she makes you, like, feel like getting up and partying. Even though I know she isn't talking about, you know, a dude with, I think, Y chromosome. A Y chromosome person doing that. Yeah, like, I think, are we Y or are we X? I don't know, man. I, I'm not a biologist, right? But whatever it is, it wasn't written for me. But still, that song just like, yeah. It's like, I want to go out and have a good time now. Like, there, there are band songs, though, for certain reasons. Like, so, a song I really like, I just won't listen to it because I blubber like a baby, is Butterfly Kisses. I will not, of my own free will, listen to that song. I listen to it, like, twice in my lifetime. Every time I do, I just turn into a blubbering idiot because I always, like, as a dad, being your daughter's just number one in her life just feels so awesome. Like being that guy, you know, that she looks up to, like her whole life, and those, and those butterfly kisses are just so wrong. I mean, just, just so, ah, uh, ah, uh, just even thinking about it, it just gets you right here. Like as a dad with a daughter, I, I don't think there's, I'm pretty sure Smitty can agree. Like those, those little, ah, uh, and the words to it are just, just like so powerful. But, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dude, like, like literally, I'm shivering right now, and I, I got that little, like, semi-choked up feeling. But, yeah, that's one of the band songs, like, that I just, I just won't, of my own free will, listen to. And then the other one is the same thing, but for a dad and a son, is a cat in a cradle. Because it's like, especially with my son having left, yeah, yeah, you have four. I only got one. I got one, so it's going to hit me hard that day I have to give her away. So, it's going to hit me super hard. But those two songs are bad. I just won't listen to them. The cat in the cradle in the seal. Because, like, it makes you think. Like, I was, like, you guys don't know this, but when I was younger, I was actually a terrible dad. I was with my oldest son, the one who just left. I was terrible. I missed a lot of his life because I didn't want to grow up, basically, and I still wanted to hang out with my friends. And, and I wasn't doing anything crazy. I was actually doing dorky things. I liked, uh, I can't believe I'm about to admit this on stream, but I liked to LARP, you know, and I liked to play D and D pen and paper D and D. And after I got married and had kids, instead of making that my focus, I was just treating it as like, I had like the coolest roommate ever. And we just happened to have a kid together. Right. But there wasn't that seriousness that needs to be there. Like about being there for the family and things like that. Cause I was still selfish. So I missed a lot of my son's life. A lot of his early life because I was still a selfish little jerk. But that song now hits you. It just hits you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We weren't that nerdy, but uh, uh, yeah, no, we were pretty much that nerdy. Yeah. Yeah, we were. I'm not going to lie. We were. We were. My wife, I remember telling her stories about it when we were dating. She's like, do you really do that? I'm like, yeah, I really, I really do. I really do. I And I loved it. I'll be honest. I don't want to LARP anymore, but as a as the older guy that I am, if someone came up to me and offered me a spot in their weekly D&D &D game where you just sit around the table, pop some Mountain Dew, pop some Cheetos, and just, you know, role play, I would accept it. I would, I would actually, if they were to say something like, well, we only have a spot like Thursday or Wednesday, I would move the stream that's how much i would want i would still play DD because i really enjoyed playing D, &D. because you used your imagination right and it was like i don't know it was really fun and it could be that that you know um rose colored glasses thing right like i'm older and i haven't done it but i have this really kind of looking back at it this exaggerated view that's been obscured by time so maybe if i tried to do it now i'd be like wow why did i ever like this i don't think that'd be the case though because, like, I've act I don't know. I don't think it would be. But anyway, yeah. 
Yep, yep. I loved the LARP. I really, really liked it. And that like of that activity caused me to miss my oldest son's life, which caused the Cat in the Cradle to mean a lot to me, which is why it's still only the, one of the two band songs that I just won't listen to. But I mean, just kids are just so amazing. And the time, honestly, just goes by so fast. Like with my oldest, I literally feel like we just brought him home. Like, I mean, that's the God's honest truth. Like, I still remember the first day so clearly in my mind. Like, I mean, I feel like that that was just yesterday. That's honestly how I feel. Because I remember, so I'm, I'm like, I remember I go to the hospital to pick up my wife. I'm like, all right, got the car seat in. Because you know, it's our first. I'm, I'm, make, I'm making sure the car seat's strapped in right. And we had one of the ones where you put the base in, right? And then you can take it off because it's a baby carrier too. So I want to make sure the base was secured. And I, I remember putting it in and then like trying to wiggle it and shake it out, like making sure it's secure, right? And uh, then I was like, all right, all right. So I go up there, I take detach it. I go, we go get our son. Um, and I go get my son and my wife. And we're just, I'm just like, like looking at this little guy, just like, wow, this, you know, he's mine, right? So we drive home, we put him in. I think I, I drove like maybe two miles an hour the whole way there. It actually, I drove so slow, I think it annoyed my wife. And um, we get him home in our apartment. I, we set him down in the middle of the floor. And literally, I, I remember this so clearly. It hit us both so hard. We were stunned for a good three minutes just staring at him like, what the F do we do now? Like, we're responsible for this little guy. Like, these two, I mean, very young kids. My wife was 18. I was uh, 21 or 20 and a half. So I was like, what do we do? <laughs> and, you know, then he started crying and just the rest, as they say, is history. We did what we had to as parents, right? But man, good times. Kids are awesome, but don't have them until you're ready. Like, you know, be ready for them. Go out, party, have fun, solo, right? Then when you're ready to deal with someone else's, you know, sugar, honey, iced tea, then, you know, then you get into a serious relationship. Then once you guys are in a serious relationship and you get married, then figure out your sugar, honey, iced tea together because there's going to be issues. Like when you move in together, there's always issues. There's getting to know that person how they like things done, it's, it's a change. Then, once you guys got your sugar, honey, iced tea all together, then you guys go party, have fun. After all of that, you talk about it and then decide if you want kids. Make sure you do it in that order. Unless you're not into that. Like, if you're not in the party lifestyle and you know who you're with, it's like, this is, you guys lived together for a bajillion years and you know this is what you want, do it. Do it. Do it. Because it, it, it's awesome. But just, just... Make sure you're ready for it. You don't want to have those regrets. Like, oh, I never woke up at 3 a.m. and didn't know where I was. I mean, there's some people that want that experience or, you know. I never did black tar heroin, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that someone's goal out there is not on my personal bucket list. But, I mean, there could be somebody that's like, you know what? I never got that chance to try black tar heroin. And I just feel like I really missed out, you know. But now I have kids. I just can't do black tar heroin because, I mean, that's not something a good parent should be doing. I, mean, I guess you can make the argument that it's not something a good uh, person at all should be doing. But, I mean, it could be on there. But it's on your goal. <laughs> Try black tar heroin. <laughs> and I always wondered, here's the thing. What's the difference between regular heroin and black tar heroin? Like... And I never got that. Like, why is there that distinction? Well, I always find movies that, like, refer to drugs. And I know drugs is a serious issue. I, if you know anyone that has drug issues in your life, I'm sorry. And I'm not making light of that. But um, that being said, the ingredients, ah, all right. But that being said, I like movies that, like, make light of drug use. Like, uh, you guys ever seen the one... With uh, Seth Rogen, um, and it's where it's it's a Christmas one. It's like Seth Rogen. It's the one. It's Robin from uh, the Dark the Dark Knight Returns. 
What's his name? Something. And then it's another dude, but it's like a black guy. I don't remember the black guy's name, though, even who he was, which is pretty sad when you think about it. But it was, and it was those three, and it was about them. They always got to, and I think the, the black guy was a football player or something and didn't have a lot of time. And he had, I think he had, like he hurt his knee or something. And he hadn't told his mom yet. But anyway, it's about them spending, like, they finally were able to do this Christmas ritual together. And I remember Seth Rogen's uh, character, his wife, buys him, like, this bag of drugs. They had, like, coke, like, they had a uh, uh, pot, speed, ecstasy, and cocaine. And I remember he takes it out. He's like, wow, you found me cocaine? Who, who does cocaine anymore? She's like, I know I found this guy. I guess he was just caught in the 80s and was still selling coke. And I'm like, I'm like as the movie goes through the through the, the night, like just as he tries the different drugs, it's hilarious. It, it was such a fun... I can't remember the name of it, though. It's a really funny movie. Really funny movie. Anyway, now that I've, uh, I'm not promoting illicit drug use at all. I'm just pointing out that that movie was hilarious and it happened to mention drugs in a hilarious manner. That's all. You know a movie I didn't like that a lot of people liked, I thought was like overrated, was, and don't hate me for this, but No Country for Old Men. I remember that like won like pretty much every award that year. And I, I didn't watch it at the theater. I did watch Scott Pilgrim, which was out that same year, which every critic picked as the movie second to No Country for Old Men. They're like, if you're only going to watch one movie, of course, No Country for Old Men. But if you're going to watch two, watch Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So I, I went for Scott Pilgrim, and that movie was freaking awesome. It's one of my favorites. It's actually been installed on my phone since, or installed, yeah, I guess installed works has been installed on my phone since iTunes offered the movie. Like, every phone that I've upgraded to, I've always copied it over. Because that movie's just my, my favorite. I really like that movie. But, so I watched No Country for Old Men, like, when it came out for DVD that year. And I was like, eh. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. I was like, okay. Guy kills people with a cow. The humane cow thingy that sends the the, the spike super quick, you know, it kills a cow instantly with no pain. It's the humane thing. So he kills people with that. Like, alright. Ah, it wasn't a great marvel of cinema that every critic on the planet said it was. Maybe I just don't have that, the palette for those highbrow movies. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I'm stuck with the Scott Pilgrims of the world. Which was an awesome movie. Like, that movie, even critics who liked No Country for Old Men were like, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World was easy. It was awesome. And the funny thing is, the commercial for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World actually said, if you only see one movie this year, see No Country for Old Men. But if you're going to see two movies this year, see Scott Pilgrim vs. The World as well. Like, honestly, the commercial for that actually said that. So even the studio kind of make light of it. It was such a good movie. And then, um, years later, I ended up buying the comic just to see how close it was to the uh, the movie. It was, and it actually, some of the stuff that they mentioned in the comic, ha or mentioned in the comic, no, some of the stuff they mentioned in the movie happens in the comic, like about him saying, I, I once punched a kid so hard that he, uh, he saw the curvature of the earth, which is, by the way, a hilarious statement for anyone, anywhere to make. But in the comic, he actually does punch a kid so hard that the kid sees the curvature of the earth. And, he, and it shows, like, the kid out in space. And he's all, oh, the curvature of the earth. Like, it's... I mean, the comedy for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And actually, only the last comic was Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. They all, they all had different names. But yeah, it was... That, that movie was just lit, that, in my opinion. It's, it's one of my all-time favorite movies. That and Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. Like, I remember... I'm, I am a gut laugh kind of guy. As I've told you many a times, I, I honestly am absolutely gaga for comedies. I am a huge comedy guy. And when I go to movies, I gut laugh. Like, I'm one of those dudes that is like one of those loud guys like laughing so hard I'm crying, right? Anyway, we went to go see Cloudy with a Chance Meatballs. I took my kid and 
I didn't go because of the kids. I wanted to see it. The kids just came with me because they happened to want to see it too. Like I no pro I like animated movies. So we're going there and like it starts and I'm just like dying. The one part I remember where I, I honestly thought they were gonna have to bring the defibrillator to bring me back was we're there and it's the part where he takes uh Anna Faris's character. They go up to see his like room and he's all she's all, Oh, what's this? He's all oh, this is my dangeometer. This tells us if the food is over mutated. She's all, what happens if it goes in the red? <laughs> it's like, that sounded kind of serious. Like, shouldn't you at least have some idea of what this does? Like, I just lost it. I, was, I mean, I'm, I'm dying. I'm laughing so hard and trying not to. Like, that, that movie... And then, um, I might have mentioned this one before, but Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest, I went to go see uh, with my wife. And my father-in-law actually watched our oldest son. Because this is when we lived with my in-laws for like two years. And my father-in-law watched our son. And my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law went with me, my, my wife, and my mother-in-law. And oh my gosh. I remember watching that movie. And there was, there was not one part where I wasn't laughing. Like... And, the, and, of course, every movie has that one scene where I just lose it. Like, I'm – because most of the time, I'm trying to be respectful. So I'm like <laughs> – so I'm doing one of these numbers, right? Like, I'm, I'm laughing internally, and I'm holding it, and I'm, like, doing one of these, right? There's always a scene that just breaks me. And in Galaxy Quest, it's the one where – so they get nuked by the bad guy. And Tim Allen's like, punch it, get us out of here. Like, max whatever the speed was. It wasn't warp. It was something else, I think. So it's like, Max, get us out of here, right? And so he's like, punch it. Like, and they're going as fast as they can. And his engineering buddy, he like comes on a prompter. He's like, uh, hey, uh, they tell me down here that we're going to fly apart if we uh, keep doing this. But uh, just an FYI, <laughs> just the way he said it, like that dude was mellow the whole movie. Like nothing phased him. It was just, oh, man. That part just broke me. I was, like, dying. And to this day, my mother-in-law laughs hard when I laugh because she always remembers that. She she always tells me how, and my wife even says this, that when they go to funny movies and I'm with them, they're laughing more at how hard I am laughing versus how funny the movie actually is. So, I don't know. I just... That that movie, oh man, those two movies. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and even the second Cloudy with a Ch Chance of Meatballs. I mean, the comedy, they didn't lose a step. Like the part when they're in the the, the car, and it's going to go over the waterfall. He's all, there's a leak in the boat, and it's actually a leak. <laughs> it's like, you know, food, because it's a food. You know, food is alive in that movie. And it's a leak. Oh man, I was dying. There's a leak in the boat. Oh man, good times, good times. I think the most recent movie that made me laugh pretty hard was uh, Incredibles 2, when Jack Jack fights the ah, raccoon. Ah. Oh, it's not a spoiler. Okay. Yeah. But that part was hilarious. Oh my god, I was like dying. I think me and my daughter went to go see that together, and my son, who was saying ah, ah he didn't want to hear the spoiler, um, he was sick that day and he wasn't feeling good. So he, he couldn't go. He didn't want to go. I didn't blame him. He was not feeling the greatest. But I had set aside that time to go, so it was my only free time that, that weekend. That's not a spoiler. It's not. Doesn't it, doesn't it show that in the trailer? Yeah, it shows it in the trailer. It doesn't show the whole fight, though. But it, it's it's ridiculously. It's a, it's a really good movie. And the, the, the cool part is... They had the stars at the beginning of the movie. So um, Craig T. Nelson, I forget the voice of uh, Invisible, Invisible Girl, and then Samuel L. Jackson actually apologize at the beginning of the movie as their as themselves for the 14-year wait. They honestly apologize. I was like, and I will say this. If you're a huge Incredibles fan like I was, and you're always mad to see freaking three different Planes movies, three different Cars movies, Two different uh, Nemo movies, but the Nemo movies were good. So, and one sequel, then it was worth it. Trust me, no. Incredibles two was worth the wait. I wish it come sooner, but it was worth the wait. No. 
I highly, highly recommend Incredibles 2. It's a great, great movie. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you know what I forgot to do? And I'm a family man. Luckily, my, my daughter cooked. She cooks. I, did she make you something too, Josh? No. Uh, my daughter cooks no. for her. But I'm starting to get hungry. Hey, Haas! Hey, bud. Oh, dude. Um, Sorry, I, I, I meant to tell you like that I wasn't going to stream uh, Monster Hunter World today. I apologize. I meant to tell you um, the reason why is I spent some uh, currency in this game that I wanted to burn. So uh, I, I was thinking about doing it later if Joe was going to play it, but I haven't talked to Joe. I meant to talk to Joe today to see what he was going to do, and I was going to play it with him. But now, because I'm freaking hungry, like, I will bite the head off of an animal that you probably shouldn't bite the head off of. I'm so hungry. And I forgot to cook. Being a family guy, I forgot to cook. Can you believe that? My daughter cooks for herself. My, my youngest son never eats anyway when you cook. You cook, and he's playing Fortnite or For Honored and eats, like, two hours later when it's all cold. So, he's not affected by it. My daughter's not affected by it because she cooked for herself. It's just me. I'm the only guy here like, dang. I, I know I was supposed to do something for people here, but what was it again? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to feed my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens. Sometimes my daughter would be like, Dad, aren't you supposed to be cooking? I'm like, yes. I, I <laughs> no, I'm an ordering pizza. I just forgot. What, Dad? What's for oh, Joe is actually playing right now? Is he? Dang it, but I got this... Freaking 24 hour XP, I want to finish yeah. off. Uh, I, it's, I don't know. I'm being honest. Go find something. Is, Is he streaming right now, Haas? Like, at this very moment? Oh, not right now? Oh, okay. Nurgan Grande is not that. He, he's not bad. I actually was farming the, uh, the 8 star quest for him for a bit. Oh, you're leaving? Dang, that's it? You just showed up and said later? That's how it is, Haas? You just leave and then say later. Wow. Wow. Just wow, man. All right. All right. All right, I'll make it. I'll find a way to go on. Near, far, wherever you are. I believe that the heart will go on once more you open the door and you're here in my heart and my heart will go on and on <laughs> you know what's funny about that movie I'm pretty sure you guys, ah, you know, let's make it quick. Everybody should know this, but 25 cassette tapes if someone tells me what movie that song is from. And then I'll, once whoever is the quickest typer gets it. It was a super popular movie, so I'm, I'm sure everybody knows it. But yeah, so 25 cassette tapes for whoever guesses what that My Heart Will Goes On song was from. And then I'll, I'll finish my thought, because my thought spoils what movie it was. So... We're going to wait a bit. Give folks a chance. Give me a chance. <laughs> Titanic. All right. So let me give the 25 points to Mullet. What's funny about that movie is, one, that was a really big door. You mean to tell me that chick couldn't have moved two inches to the left and let Jack get up there with him? Not only that. But he's shivering, dying in this cold water of hypothermia, I'm assuming. And she's like how she's telling him she's never going to let go. The very next scene, she lets go. It's like, wow, you couldn't have moved over. You really, like, watch it. Look how huge that thing is that she's riding on. She could have pulled him up and they would have been fine. It wasn't like, you know, she was like this little, like, little donut. Look, It was a freaking huge door. Like... She couldn't have moved over. 
Oh, you think they did a Mythbusters on that? Oh, so she couldn't have moved over? All right. She couldn't have moved over or he wouldn't have died of hypothermia. Which one was the... Did they myth bust? I don't, I don't know. I'm being honest. I said a lot of things. A lot of times. It's the boys to men effect. Dude, boys, but that is the... Oh, no, she could have? Okay, that's what I thought. I mean, she could have moved over. Like, it's like, dang. I mean, you supposedly love... I mean, like, I love my wife. If, if that was me and my wife, like... I'm watching that, and my first instinct would have been to pull my wife up. Not to sit there while my wife is shivering and be like, so, how was your day? Is the water cold? Like, man. You know, speaking of that, dude, you know what's, what's actually effed up? One of the most effed up songs on the planet, which isn't intentionally trying to be effed Well, actually, I think it is trying to be effed up. That has to do with Titanic, so it's going to come full circle, right? Stay with me on this. So Britney Spears, right? She has this one song, and it's called, um, uh, wait, what is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not Oops, I Did It Again. No, it is. It is isn't it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, okay, it is. It is Oops, I Did It Again. So in this song, right? In this song, she's all, you know, she's saying how she accidentally made this uh, person fall in love with her. Well, in the middle of the song, they cut to this voice moment where it's all like, she's, you hear her go, here you are, baby. She's like, oh, is this? He's all, yeah, I got it for you. She's, he's, she's all, I thought this fell to the ocean at the end of the movie. He's all, well, baby, I went down there and got it for you. And she goes, aw. You shouldn't have. And I was like, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> like, could you imagine that? Like, imagine being that dude. You went to the bottom, I think, of the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not great with history. Atlantic or Pacific Ocean. You went to the bottom of a ocean to get this at great expense. It's not like you put on a snorkel and just dive down there, rummage through a few things, and then came back up. You spent money to get this. For the woman you are in love with. You give it to her and she says, Aw, you should have. Damn. That hurt me and I was nowhere near it. I was like, dang. I don't know what I would do if, oh man. All that effort. All that effort. And she's like, North Atlantic, all right. It's like, wow. Aw, you shouldn't have. Damn. Like, oh man that's just rough that's just rough that's a rough life right there like every time like my wife does something and maybe we have a disagreement and our disagreements aren't serious i just remember the dude from oops i did it again oh man you know what actually i've given the not you it's not you it's me speech and legitimately meant it was me and the situation was, it was only once that I've ever used it. And it was where she was really mature. And I had done something extremely stupid. And I felt like, now I proactively made the decision without involving her that I'm not ready for this relationship. I'm not ready for a serious relationship. And I'm sorry because I did this to you. This is not who I am. Like I was mad at myself, right? But it, I, I had an epiphany that said, wait. I'm probably not ready to be in a relationship. I got to fix my my sugar honey iced tea out first. Once I figure out my stuff, then if she's still around, then, you know, we could try to work it out. So it honestly it was me. It was 100% me. The one that I don't like because it is just a kick in the gonads is we can still be friends. It can still be friends hurt so much, especially because... They will treat you like a friend. And that seems, sounds like a good thing, right? But when they're with someone else and you have to hear the story about how awesome they are together or about, like, all the stuff they're doing or where they're going, it just, like, guts you every time you hear it. And it's like, I mean, I don't think women do it intentionally, right? They value you and they want to keep you as a friend, right? Because you still mean something to them. It's just that meaning has changed. 
But for you, for us, at least for me, in like every situation I've ever heard that in, I really don't want to be the guy that gets to listen about how happy you are with all your other guys. No, I have been with my wife since she was in high school. I met my wife halfway through college. So I graduated um, high school at 15 and a half. And I was almost done with college by the time I met my wife. Almost done. So no. For her though, she doesn't have any stories. I'm it. Well, no, she has two stories and I've heard them both. So. But now I lived. I partied it up. I partied it up. Because I was like 20 something. Oh, you really want to see the amazing pic of us? Really? Do you want to see it? Like, honestly, I'll go get it. I mean, it's just hanging around the corner. Like, if you, like, I guess, you know what? We might have new people. What the hell? What the hell? I'll go get the picture for you guys uh, I'll, uh, of what Mullet's talking about. You get to see young Val and young Val's wife. Hold on. I'm not wearing any uh, box, uh, any uh, shorts or pants. So we're going to do real quick. We're going to do the Be Right Back stream. The be right back screen so you guys don't stare at my uh, chonies. And I'll go get it and I'll show you guys. I look at this picture and I'm like, I'm such a sexy son of a bee, man. My, like, my wife is so hot. Like, I don't know. Why she was even... I'm sexy, right? I, I'm super sexy in this pit. Stop being a But my wife is off the chart sexy in this pit. And I still don't know why she spent any time with me. And I'm a, and I'm a big fan of redheads. She, you, it's hard to see it in this, but she's 100% a redhead. But here you guys go. This is young... Can you see that? Oh, there's kind of... Oh, there we go. This is young Val and wife. So... That is me. A lot of people say I look like Urkel, but uh, I think I was 20 something. She was 17 in this. So I was kind of a, so there's like two and a half year difference between us. So yeah, so, yep, this is us way, way back. This is our actually our favorite picture. We took another one where she's kind of like, uh, She's like sitting down, and no, I'm sitting down and she has her arms around me. I make fun of her in that picture a lot because her arms look freakishly long. They, her, her arms look so long in that. But man, I met her, I don't know if you, I've ever told this story, but I met her um, when I worked at a video store and I get this, yeah, yeah, I do. These are my Harry Potter glasses, it's funny. I'm looking at this because they're circles, and um, these are new. These are new. A new wish. But um, I actually was testing them on. My wife couldn't go with me the last time I went to my uh, my eye doctor appointment, so I had to get her opinion on glasses. But um, I tried to get. I tried to convince her that I could still pull off these Harry Potter looking glasses. She says I can't. But yeah, man. This brings back memories. We took this at uh, a J.C. Penney's. I don't know if you guys have a J.C. Penney's. My wife's a big picture person, and we have been dating for six months, maybe. When we took this picture, she's like, she wants to commemorate it. So my wife's a penny pitcher. I'm not a penny pitcher. My wife is. She definitely. I handle the books, but she keeps me in check, right? But um. And she found a coupon, and she's like, oh, I found this coupon. I want to do this. You know, I want to get big pictures of us together. And I was That's like, yeah, we'll do it. That's uh, it's always her eyes that get me every single time. I love her baby blue so much. So much. But anyway, I met her at a video store. Uh, I worked mom and pop video stores. They don't have them anymore. You have to be my age to know what I'm talking about. But, um... I'm about to close, five minutes to close. I get a call, like no one's in the store, right? No one's in a video store. I'm like busting my ass, like making sure everything is done so I can run right out the door. And five minutes to close, I get a call that says, hey,
do you have an interview with the vampire? I'm like, yeah, we do, but, you know, I'm about to close. She's like, um, I mean, she had world's sexiest voice. She's all like, and she wasn't intentionally trying to sound sexy. That's not how my wife was at all. She was like, please, 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 can you wait? I live right around the corner. It'll, I'll, I'll be there in like two minutes. And I'm like, all right, you know, I go and grab the movie. I'm still on the phone with her. I'm like, hey, you know, give me your phone number. I'll, I'll put it in the system. I'll rent it out. You'll just pay me and we'll be done, right? She's like, great, thank you, thank you. So I'm there. You're like, I got the movie ready. I'm a little grumpy because, you know, you work all day. You're ready to get the hell out of there. So she comes in and I'm like, all right. I'm like, good choice to wait, right? So immediately grumpiness has gone away. And I'm trying to turn on the charm. I'm like, oh, hey, nice to see you. you know, glad you, glad you came in. I'm so happy I could stay open for you, right? She's like, oh, thank you. You know, she gets it. And she has a dude with them, with her. And I, I didn't even care about the dude. I honestly said this in front of the dude. So she's walking out. And I'm like, I can't let this girl go without saying something. And this is all true. If my wife was here, she would back me up 100%. So I, I'm thinking I have to say something so she remembers me. So as she's walking out. She, I go, hey, she's like, what? And I go, because I've rented that for you now, you have to promise to love me forever. And she said, absolutely. And we always joke to this day that she kept her promise to love me forever. Oh. I, I honestly was just... I didn't even know until until that moment I had a thing for redheads. I didn't know that was a thing. Until my wife, I honestly, all I'd ever dated, all I'd ever been with seriously was Hispanic girls. Like, that was, like, all I knew. Like, my mom was so shocked the day I said, I'm going to marry her. She was like, what? Like, because we've been together about a year at that point. So she was, uh, she was really shocked. But, yeah, this is my Shay. My wife's name is Shailene. But we call her Shay. Or some her friends call her Shay Shay. I don't call her that. I just call her Shay. All right, let me go put this back on our wall. Oh, dude. All right, I'll tell that in a second. I'll tell that. That's a funny story in itself. All right. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, Josh. I walked in front of you. My bad. All right, so the callback thing. So what happened? So that night happened, right? She obviously was into me despite the fact that she was with a dude, the, another dude, right? So, I mean, she wasn't with them. They were just friends. They were just friends. No, I didn't do that. That's stalkerish, man. Come on. Come on. Cut Val some slack. But um, so she kept coming in. Like that whole week she would come in and we would talk and, you know, I'd joke with her. And sometimes she wouldn't even rent a movie. I started noticing... She was just coming, and we were talking. Like, she didn't rent anything. So, the next week, she comes in, and she has her mom. I'm like, whoa, she brought her mom, right? All right, I'm cool with this. I'm cool. I'm a little nervous. Um, even though we weren't dating, I was just like, oh, she brought her mom. So, she introduces her mom. I'm like, oh, hey, you know, hi, hi Mrs. Nelson. You know, how, how are you? You know, uh, and, uh, she, and her mom's like, oh, so you're the guy that my daughter has been talking to. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I think she's awesome. And so they get their movie and they're about to leave. And I go, hey, why don't you call me? And she's all, well, you never gave me your phone number. Like, I say this in front of her mom. And I'm feeling so dumb. Like, if you're familiar with old school cartoons, literally I turned into a donkey with a dunce cap on my head. And I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't. So we swapped numbers and um, we started talking. So about two weeks, a week and a half before uh, we called each other and then we went on a date immediately after and it was it was a good date we had fun i don't remember what we did to be honest with you i, I honestly don't remember what we did on our first date my, i thought my wife was here i'd ask her i i know we drove somewhere i drove her somewhere it wasn't cheesy it wasn't anything cheesy it wasn't like a picnic or something it was like just a normal like I think it was just dinner. I think it honestly was just dinner. And then I asked her if she wanted to go watch the airplanes land at the airport because there's a little. I don't know if they have them at all airports, but our airport here they actually have a section for people just to like where the landing strip is. 
they have a section where you can just literally park and watch the airplanes land. And so I don't, I, I think we didn't do that. She didn't want to. So we just went back to my house and talked and that was the whole date. But, um, I do remember, I kind of proposed to her lame and she says, she says it was sweet, but I, I did propose to her lame. And I remember it. We'd been dating, like I said, for a year and we went to go see GoldenEye, which by the way, is a freaking awesome movie. Like GoldenEye, I'm a huge Pierce Brosnan fan. My wife says I'm gay for Pierce Brosnan. I just think Pierce Brosnan is a freaking, freaking dabber kind of guy. I think he's pretty dapper. But anyway, so we went to go see GoldenEye. We're watching GoldenEye, and you know, we, we finished our popcorn. It's kind of sitting off the seat to my left, and I'm holding her hand. And this, the oddest time for this epiphany to occur to me. So we're sitting there holding hands, and I'm watching Pierce Brosnan beat up on Phoenix from X-Men. The original X-Men, not the young girl X-Men that's out right now, but the original girl that was the X-Men, the redhead. I'm watching him beat this chick up as they're in a spa. And at that moment, holding my girlfriend's hand, I honestly realized, like, just, I realized I have to spend the rest of my life with this woman, and I don't ever want to be apart from her. So in the movie of Pierce Brosnan beating up this chick, I turn to her and I go, hey, hey, Shay. So yeah, what's up, babe? I'm like, do you want to get married? She's like, are you being serious? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, do you want to marry me? She's like, yes. And I'm like, all right, then we're getting married. That is how it went down. True story. I regret it to this day that I hadn't internalized that right. Taking that, like, like most guys would have done, internalize it, that you had the epiphany. So now you know. Now let's plan something really romantic, do it up, get down on one knee, et cetera, et cetera. I, I didn't. I'm a very, my whole personality, and you got, I'm sure you can tell, I have no poker face. Like I wear my emotions all on my sleeve, and I don't, I don't have that ability to kind of like bottle them up like a lot of people do. I have to express them, and I express them in very positive ways, right? But I can't hold it in. So I wish I had been able to just internalize that realization, say, okay, we know what we got to do. Let's go through the whole rigmarole. Let's get the ring. Let's find a date spot. Let's ask the question in front of everybody so that everyone can go, oh. So she can cry and be like all surprised, but nah. I, I denied her and myself all that because I have no poker face. But yeah, that's how we decided we're going to get married. About nine months later, 12 months later, rough. No, 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 no. About six months later we got married got married and it was a we my my parents were a little mad we didn't want to wait so we invited my best friend her best friend and my mom and we got married at the justice of the peace and then everybody was upset everyone but we, we didn't want a big cupola so then we had a second wedding at a park a very nice park we rented out this area of the park where you can do it. It's for that kind of, it's for weddings and all that. Then we got her grandpa, who's an ordained minister, to, you know, read us everything and do all that. And so everybody could be a part of it. But we really didn't want that. But we felt kind of bad that so many people felt left out, right? That we were like, well, we should probably do something. So, yeah, that's my shit. Oh, I tell you, I have not been a walk in a park. And it is amazing that we have been married 22 years 20 yes 22 years i'm pretty sure 22 years. no we've been married 21 years but we've been together 22 years that's right that's right so yeah that is my shay that's that's the story of us which is an amazing TV show, by the way. If you're not watching it, you're crazy. The story of us is off the hook good. No, no, no. Not the story of us. This is us, is what I'm thinking. This is us is an incredible movie. I have this thing, though, for Mandy Moore, and I've always had a thing for Mandy Moore. I think she is a really attractive young lady. But she's one of those, like, not over-the-top, ridiculously drop-dead gorgeous, right? She is super attractive, but it's in that just like, I don't know, that I don't want to say homely because people get kind of the wrong image when you say homely. But she is just really, really attractive. I think Mandy Moore is super attractive. I've liked her since A Walk to Remember. A lot of people don't remember that movie. Ha <laughs> ha. 
That was not intentional, but it is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a pretty good movie. And that one song, I'll always remember. It was late afternoon. It lasted forever, yet ended so soon. You were all by yourself, staring at a deep blue sky. And I was changed from in places no one will find all your feelings so deep inside. You know what's funny about that show too? Mandy Moore plays an ex-singer when in reality she is an ex-singer. I'm sure that role is very relatable to her. Because I don't think she sings anymore. I don't think she does. No, I haven't heard about an album. I'd listen to it. That movie was depressing though, A Walk to Remember. No spoilers, but it was depressing. A depressing, depressing movie. There's movies that are like that you I like I get excited to see because I'm a big romance fan. I like romance and I like good movies about family, right? Those are two of my favorite things to watch a movie for. And I hate it when I watch a romance movie and they pull that freaking twist that like guts your heart, makes you feel like all is hopeless and weepy. Hold on a second, I think my Josh, when you're done, can you help mom? Yeah. Let me let let me let her know so she doesn't well, yell at us. Hey babe, remember I told you I was streaming and then Josh is in the middle of a match, but I told him once he's done to come outside and help you, period. You're getting carried. Alright. Your first dates are you like to cook? Alright. That's awesome. Now, now, like, if something were to happen to my wife and my kids were to force me to date, I think that would be the the way I would go now. But I've thought about it. Like, and I'm sure every married couple who who doesn't or who Rich, thinks about this Rich. and says, would you, you know, move on or meet someone else if something happened to the other? Everyone says no. Maybe some people I mean, don't. Me and my wife Rich. said no. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. It's just because... I think about it, and I, I wonder if this is what everyone else thinks in this situation. Like, we wouldn't have the same story, right? Like, I wouldn't be able to tell the I'll love you forever story. It would just be something so, n I mean, being normal isn't bad, right? But I mean, that's a unique story in that she made a promise that ends up, you know, being true, right? That ended up she kept. So it wouldn't be the same, right? It wouldn't be the the same type of connections. And I know the argument is, duh, you'd have a whole new story, right? But then I'm wondering if I would always compare her to my 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 lost wife, right? My I, my passed away wife. And I don't think that would be fair for anyone else. So I, I always tell my wife, I don't think I would move on. I'd be one of those, not necessarily depressed forever, like maybe like two or three years, and then it would be down, like, my kids would be like, Dad, Mom would want you to be happy, you know. You need to try to be happy again. But I think my argument would be, well, I'm happy because I have my grandkids and I have you guys, you know. Which I know wouldn't be the same, but yeah. I don't know. Right. What if what if we all only get that one, right? Do I mean, I guess some people do find someone else in life, right, and that has a tragedy happen, unfortunately. But I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, we talk about it sometimes. I mean, I, I'm sure most married couples do. Hey, good job, Mint. I don't know if you're in my stream, but if you are, good job. Oh, boy. Man, a lot of love talk. Thanks to Mullet. He made me pull out the picture every time I look at it. Every time I look at it. That's why, you know what song I, I really like to sing to my wife? Because I do sing to her sometimes. Oh, that was Is uh, Just The Way You Are by Bruno Mars. Because it's so true. Because when I see your face, there's not a thing that I would change. Because you're amazing. Just the way you are. So true. When I see your face. Hey, baby. How's work? It was okay. It was all right. Oh, um, yeah, they heard you, Josh. So he's playing uh, uh, for Honored, and I guess um, his buddy died, 
And not only did he kill the dude he was attacking, but then he killed the dude that was uh, attacking his buddy. So he carried his friend. I guess his friend died pretty easily, too. It was, like, not even a fight. He died four times in that match. I died once. He died four times? kills, and I died once. Nice. I guess he's saying he, his friend died four times with very little kills, and he died eight. Uh, he killed 18 people with only one death, so he carried his buddy. And they won the match. They won it because my son carried him. My son, unfortunately, is lacking in humility. It is something that I am working on. But from what he tells me, his friends do the exact same thing. I just want to make sure that he understands, you know, hum humility is a good thing. It is. I'm pretty humble. Like I'm I I would like to think I'm pretty humble. I joke around sometimes, but I don't think I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. So Babe. I was telling a story about how we met and then um the person asked uh how long did it take for the first call to happen? And I was like, Oh, I got a funny story about that and then his reply was or did you look up her phone number in the computer system and call her? I'm like, nah, that would have been a little creepy. Would you have been creeped out if I'd done that? Yeah. You would have? Yeah. See, even my wife said mullet. If I had done that, that would have creeped her out. So I'm glad I didn't do that and creep her out. Honestly, it didn't even occur to me to do that, to be honest. Probably because it's what a creepy person would do, mullet. This makes me question you, man. Makes me question you, mullet. Oh, wow, we're at an hour and 44 minutes. Yikes. I did not mean to go this long. I really didn't. Oh, by the way, my latest YouTube video is out. It is a review on Yuko. Word, a word of warning. I thought I um, uploaded the version of that with no music. Um, one of the viewers let me know it was a version with the music which was a little overpowering to the video so i apologize about that i even thought it was overpowering that's why i made i exported it a second time with no audio but it seems i confused the files and i uploaded the one with audio so i apologize for that if you guys watch it and feel like you want me to replace the video i can i wish uh youtube had the option of going in and being able to say, like, replace video, like, update video, where, you, where it basically makes, like, a version 2, and it keeps, like, your view count and all that stuff. But there isn't. The only way to do it is I have to delete the video and then re-upload it. I wish there was. It would be really nice if I could do that. I wonder why they don't have that. I'm sure there's, like, a really good reason why they don't have it. Anyway, my wife's home. I now have to explain to her why I didn't cook. Oh, gosh. So. What's for dinner? I legitimately didn't cook, babe. I honestly forgot. I seriously forgot. I was like, because I exercised right after work. Like, immediately. So, I went to go get our daughter. I exercised right, up, went, right when I was done with work. I hopped in the shower. And as soon as I was done showering, I started my stream. Like, I just, in all that, I completely forgot. Chrissy cooked for herself, though. Do you want me to go get something since I messed up? Yeah, please. All right. What are you thinking about to eat? All right, so I, I, as penance, I am going to be driving to get something. So I'm going to end the stream here. As always, everyone, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed seeing the picture of uh, young Val and Val's wife. This is my daughter. This is my youngest. Say hi to everybody, hi. Chrissy. This is my youngest son. So these are the ones who uh, I forgot to cook for. She's the one who cooked for herself. She has become a master of making turkey, bacon, and fried eggs. I want to make, instead of spaghetti, I kind of want to make a taco casserole next. A taco casserole? What's a taco casserole? Oh, is that the one where your mom makes it with the beans and no, the cheese? No, I don't want to make it like mom made. I want to make it like mom has been done. Oh, that YouTuber at one time that I watched. Ah. And he made it look, it look so good. A lot of what my daughter wants to do.
cooking wise is because of, and game wise a lot of times is because of YouTubers she watches. So mm -hmm. she's a big YouTube watcher. So dad had to get on YouTube. So now she can watch me. And then All right. I can um, just when you're gone to work, I'll make a YouTube video. When you're, you All right. Work. So look for Val's daughter's YouTube video. Maybe I'll let her make one all on her own for uh, Dungeon Hunter or some game. I and then we'll see. upload it and uh, we'll see. Because she's asked me more than once. She wants to be on stream. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with her being on stream. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I do have to feed these hungry people and my hungry wife. Uh, I dropped the ball tonight. So I got I to gotta make things right. Anyway, all you guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. And as always, all you dudes and dudettes out there, stay, stay frosty. frosty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome, guys. Wow, that was wow. awesome.